The latest highly transmissible COVID-19 Omicron strain JN1, which has dominated cases in Singapore and other parts of the world, has made its way to Malaysia. Classified as variant of interest by the World Health Organization, molecular virologist Dr. Vinod Bala Subramaniam explains how serious it is and whether we should be concerned. Now, just because the mutations, uh, you know, uh, if there are much higher number of mutations or there are newer and newer variants, does not mean that does not equate to severity. Okay. Usually viruses mutate so that they stay relevant, they, they can still infect a large number of the community while not causing severe diseases. That's what viruses do so that because if they kill the host immediately, right, they got no one else to infect. Usually virus evolution, that's how it works, right? Now with the JN1, it is actually a close cousin to the BA286, the Pirola strain of the Omicron, right, closely related. So because it's closely related, if you look at the symptoms, it starts off with sore throat, uh, with congestion, with uh, you know a little bit of fever, diarrhea, similar symptoms, similar to the BA286 strain. Okay, And there are no data currently to show that it is much more severe. There are no data uh, to show that okay, it, is, it has higher mortality rate, right? Although we have not, we should not take it lightly. Okay, we should not take it lightly. Now, there are evidences to show that now this JN1 strain is currently highly transmissible because of the mutations. It is also good at evading immune responses, meaning that if we have previous, uh, you know, protection against, uh, you know, other uh, Omicron variants, for example, it will not protect us 100%. Now I say 100%, that means those who are vaccinated, those who have natural, have had natural infection, uh, previously, say three to four months ago, will still get infected. However, with lesser degree of uh, severity or symptoms. COVID-19 is not the first global pandemic. And unfortunately, it will not be the last one. As the world evolves, there is increased risk of zoonotic diseases, where infectious diseases spread from animals to humans in close proximity. The question remains, is the world prepared? This is not to scare people, but COVID-19 won't be the last pandemic. Why? Because of the way the world is moving, urbanization, you know, interest, industrialization. See, the next pandemic will be definitely of zoonotic origin. There will be a spillover between animals and humans, for sure, simply because of all this modernization is basically bringing humans and animals much, much, much closer, at a much closer proximity, which enables, uh, you know, any zoonotic diseases to be transferred to humans, similar to COVID-19, similar to, you know, if you look at all the previous pandemics, H1N1, MERS, SARS, you know, these are all zoonotic, has zoonotic origin. So, it is inevitable. Being said that, a lot of countries are now looking at candidate vaccines for disease X. We, we, have talking about, we have been talking about disease X, what is the next pandemic? You know, there are a lot of candidate vaccines being tested now. I think the world is moving at the right direction in terms of protecting us. The world has learned a lot from the previous COVID-19 pandemic. Right? Vaccine equity, for example, is very important, right? So especially to, to you know, low-income countries where distribution of vaccines, PPEs, you know, medical equipment, it's, it's important to protect the world as a whole. So I think we'll be, you know, much, much prepared for the next one.